Hello and welcome to Ranked Rambles Episode 5, the updated Banned and Restricted announcement. This Ranked Ramble is on the new schedule of a Tuesday because I wanted to address Wizards' announced Banned and Restricted announcement. And wow, was I so glad that I waited the extra day. Officially from Wizards, October 16th, 2023, Banned and Restricted announcement, no changes. This is pretty much meme-worthy. Wizards announced that there would be a banned and restricted announcement ahead of time to announce to us that there are no changes to any format. Now, a lot of people had hopes for changes in modern, in particular due to the recent alchemy adjustments to the One Ring and the, Ar El uh, and the Orcish Bowmasters. And yes, people are hoping for a shake-up in any format. I personally am loving, well, hoping for and praying for an adjustment to Pioneer. But there was no announcement given. And honestly, it shook me when I first saw it, considering that it was a pre-announced announcement to announce that everything is fine. And then on inspection, I realized why they did this. Um, it's a sad truth for the fact, but if you consider it like this, Wizards has a Christmas product coming out with um, the Lord of the Rings product. I can't even remember what it is because I don't care about it. And they are going to be reprinting the One Ring and Orcish Bowmasters in said product, and they want it as a chase thing to sell for holidays. Obviously, with the adjustment made to Historic, where they actually put the One Ring and the Orcish Bowmaster were adjusted. The One Ring was given a activation cost of 1 and the Bowmasters lost their ETB trigger. This had stirred rumours that maybe these cards were going to see similar action in the format. So Wizards announced, basically, this is Wizards action. They went, we're going to announce something to announce that there's going to be no changes so you can buy our holiday product and give us more money. Hell for the format, be damned. <laughs> yep, that's where we stand, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, I am very disappointed in this. I was hoping at least if they were gonna shake up modern because they wanted to sell this Christmas product, that at least they would address Pioneer. We are getting to ludicrous levels in Pioneer. Um, there is a player at my LGS, well, my former LGS, but I'll get into that in a bit, that plays, is it Phoenix? And he is a notorious tournament grinder, and even he said on Friday, if there's no changes to Pioneer, I think I'm just done with Pioneer for a while. I might be done with Magic in general. Um, so, long story short, our local game store has closed down due to financial difficulties. That was where he was primarily playing Commander. And he would grind Phoenix on Modo because he previously played the modern deck at our LGS. And he is done. He literally described to me that his most recent league had four devotion decks, three green and one black. But like he said, it just literally was devotion slash Khan decks that just shut him out because they pulled out sideboard cards. And yeah, he he is a notorious grinder who's happy to face it, but he is even getting frustrated with the state of the current format and wizards didn't want to address it which was very sad for this as i said i didn't expect any modern changes obviously because wizards wants money and they're going to keep the format stable this was basically an announcement to say this format is stable please buy our products we're not going to pull the rug out from under you but yes alas this is the state of things we're in all in all, as you can see here from these videos from these ranked, I have some diverse matches here for fun. But what do you think of this banned and restricted announcement? I mean, there's nothing to really digest. It's literally just a, hey, it's all secure, everything is fine, people, please invest money. Funnily enough, if you look at this article on the Wizards website, they also announce that they say their format goals is one sentence. Keeping with our goals of greater consistency across our formats, we are making no changes to any formats. Translation, in order to ensure stability so you will buy and invest in our products, we are not going to change and address the formats. 
And then they have a twice the length paragraph announcing a new type of booster that you can buy that I'm not even going to click on out of restriction here. Yeah, all in all, I'm not impressed with the changes at all. Let me know what you think as it goes below. Other little thing I wanted to put on this video here is I wanted to give my respects to my local game store, which has sadly had to close down due to financial issues. Um, sadly, the debt has all closed in and he announced out of nowhere that his store was closing down. So I went to my last Friday night magic there on Friday. Asgard Games, you're awesome. I love everyone involved and everyone there. Now I've got to look for the promise of a new game store, which is means I'm probably going to have to drive twice the difference distance to find somewhere to play. And yep, that's going to be fun to look into. But all in all, it was a fun final go. I had great fun there. It's where I played and established myself as Niv for life coming back from COVID and playing there with my Niv Mizzet commander decks and my spins on Niv in every format. <laughs> um, and yeah, surprising people with my diverse Niv commander decks with all these crazy cards that people aren't used to seeing because they're not true commander staples. Yes, it's been insanely fun to play there and I'm very happy that I got to. Um, I wish everyone who was there luck in the future. Uh, but yes, that's why I was addressing stuff with our tournament grinders there, asking them about what's going on with them. And yeah, they addressed the formats. They don't think they're very healthy. So I'm going to go to Goldfish Live here and look at something here. So let's go for the meta breakdown of Pioneer. So, 25% of the meta is taken up by Rakdos Midrange and Nykvos Ramp. However, if you add Rakdos Sacrifice, which is basically the same deck, it's 31% of the meta. And yeah, that's transforming over into Explorer because these decks are pretty much fully actualized on Explorer in Modo. So we see a lot of these decks just over and over again. And yeah, one of the main reasons for that, yes, is true, it's the economy. You can only really establish yourself with one fun deck and people have no way to trade it in. Yeah, it's really funny that Wizards didn't want to put in Dusting because according to their last article, they said the destruction of cards would be perceived as a negative thing. Well, my counter argument to this would be this TCG trading card game should have a trade function regardless of what regardless of its presentation of either paper or digital modo has facilities to do it why could something not be installed in arena maybe not a dusting thing but something else that's something i'll address in a greater deal format there but yes because of that nature people gravitate towards the best decks because they just want to play what's the best and most of these cards have worked in standard and are standard decks that are just going to naturally migrate over. But yes, we are at 25 plus percent for these two decks. And we've recently seen, I've particularly seen it in the ladder and I've seen it with some videos online, the rise of Black Devotion and, well, the return of Black Devotion and the rise of Blue Devotion. Now, I'm all for diversity here, but these Devotion decks don't really have anything crazy. They're literally just valued creatures that grab a Khan and throw something out from it to win the game from there. If you look at the Pioneer metagame on MTG Goldfish, the representative picture is Khan on the Nykvas ramp the picture is Khan because he's so synonymous with the deck. Again, I won't go into my full rant on why Khan really should have gone. I just find it disappointing that they didn't take this opportunity to address Pioneer. I knew they were never going to shake up Modern because they want to sell their precious product, but I really would have appreciated at least some address of the current issue. 
well, not issues, I shouldn't use the address like that. The current meta. And yeah, I do think that obviously with no trade system as we discussed on Arena, we can't outright just ban Nick Voss or something, but I do think we need to address or maybe power down these decks to encourage diversity. One of the great things when I started playing Modern was how much diversity there was in the format. There would be people constantly brewing. True, we don't have quite as big a card pool or a stronger card pool yet, but we're not gonna get that on Arena where there's no encouragement to brew because you literally get penalized for spending your wild cards. That's all I wanted to say on the banner restricted announcement and my little nod to my LGS that sadly closed down this weekend. Um, please let me know what you think about this current state of things. Uh, I'm sorry that this audio was short. I was really hoping I'd have way more to discuss here. I'm recording this without the gameplay just for the sake of just talking over things here. Um, please enjoy the matches. Again, I was hoping to just change things up here. For those who don't know, the reason I started the Ranked Ramble series, it's... I saw uh, an old video series I used to watch from a fighting game content creator who did a similar style of background matches while discussing a current topic. And I felt that it was the best thing to do because if you look at some of the ranked videos I was playing, it was literally just my entire half of my discussion was they play a swamp, I get four seized. Or they go play a forest and play a land of elves. Then next turn it's like they play a Kiora, they play Blood Tithe. I was literally just repeating sentences over and over to the point where I could have been mistaken for a bloody AI. But that's one thing I will say here to anyone who thinks that this banner restricted announcement before I go, that the banner restricted announcement is solid and good. You're entitled to your opinion, but I will say one thing regarding the Pioneer metagame and the Explorer metagame. If you were to play a fighting game, say for example, Street Fighter, and every five matches you just fought Ken and Ryu, just the five matches you fought Ken, Ken, Ryu, Ryu, and then maybe you'd say Chun Li, one and off. Every time you turned on ranked, there would be an issue and there would be a balance patch to sort that out. Now, this isn't a fighting game, there's different metas, different things as well. But you've got to say, even if we take it in just regard to the meta here of. Um, the meta verse here of MTG Goldfish. If we put Rakdos midrange as Ryu, Rakdos Sacrifice as Ken, and Nikvos Ramp as, let's say, Guile, if you played 10 matches and literally ran into them like five, six times, you would acknowledge that there should be an issue here and that something needs to be addressed or changed. Now, that's my personal opinion. You're entitled to yours, and you can say what you want down below. Please enjoy the rest of the gameplay videos. I've rambled enough here. I've literally spent 15 minutes rambling about wizards announcing nothing. So, hope you enjoyed my senseless rant, because there was no notes for this one. <laughs> Thanks for watching.
Reload. 